we're going to be working with probability tables. Okay, so this is an example of a probability table. Okay, where I've got event A and I've got an event B. Okay, now this is going to be the event that is complement to A, and so is this. This will be the event that is complement to B. Okay, now how do we actually read this table? Okay, if you take a look at the first four boxes, that's when two of the events are held together. So, for example, okay, what is the probability of um, A and B occurring? Okay, well, that's 0 0.1. Okay, what is the probability of event A and the complement of B occurring? Then that is 0 0.3. Okay, so for example, okay, so this is the first four boxes. Now, these ones on the outsides are when it doesn't matter about these, these events here. So if I, for example, ask you, okay, what is the event, sorry, what is the probability of event B occurring? Oh, event B, oh, then that's just simply 0 0.3. Okay, I don't care about the other ones. Same thing here, if I want to ask you what is the uh, probability of event, uh, the complement of A happening, or complement of A, I don't care about these ones, then this is the event of complement A happening, okay, 0 0.6. And also, my uh, event B and the complement of B okay, should add up to equal 1. Same thing here, the event of A and the complement of A should add up to 1. Okay, so the whole of this probability table, we should always result to 1 there. Okay, so let's try and work with these probability tables to try and answer some questions. So looking at first one, okay, we've got event A and G. So event A is, where the, um, is the event where the student studies art. And G is the event where the student is a girl. Okay, and I've got some of the little uh, probability table filled out. Okay, but I'm going to try and have to fill, fill it all out. Okay, so let's try and complete this table. Okay, first thing I should know is in any probability table, they should all result to, we should all have a sum to 1 here. Okay, which is really handy because from there we can kind of work things out. So for example, if we know that that's 1 and this is 0 0.5, well this 2 should sum to equal 1, then that means this box is also 0 0.5. Okay, so similarly the box up here, okay, well if that's 0 0.4, well then this one should be 0 0.6, okay, which again we can start to work out these inner boxes because that little box in here, okay, well that's 0 0.2 and that's 0 0.5, okay, well then that's 0 0.3, okay, we're going to add these to get that, same thing, okay, same thing across here, okay, so that box is, we don't know what it is, but that's 0 0.2 plus something should be 0 0.6, well then this should be 0 0.4. And we can find the last one, okay, well we can do that many ways, okay, but we should know it's 0 0.1. Okay, so 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 is 0 0.4, and it works downwards as well. 0 0.4 plus 0 0.1 is also 0 0.5. Okay, so that's how we complete the table first of all. Now let's move on to part B. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to answer some of the probability questions. So it says, find the probability of event A and event G occurring. Okay, so A and G... Okay, that's that box there. Okay, so the answer is 0 0.2. Okay, not too hard. We're just going to read off this probability table. Okay, what about part C? So I'm going to try to find the probability of A dash and G dash occurring. So in other words, this one and this one occurring. Okay, well, that's this box here. Okay, so the answer is the probability of 0 0.1. So not too difficult reading off the table. Now, part D says find the probability that a girl is chosen. Okay, now you can see that it has nothing to do with whether they start, uh, th whether they study art or not. The question is just saying, oh, what's the probability that a girl is chosen? Okay, well, where is a girl chosen? Well, this is the probability that a girl is chosen. So ignore these. We're just going to go straight to just the probability of a girl, which is 0 0.5. Okay, so that's how we approach these questions. Now, in part E, it says find the probability that a girl does not study art. Okay, so she doesn't study art. Well, G is the, sorry, A is the probability that, they, that she does study art. Okay, and A dash is the one where um, she doesn't study art. And it also says that it needs to be a girl. Okay, then it will be in this box here. So it's a girl, okay, and she doesn't study art, then it will be 0 0.3. Okay, so that's how we fill out uh, probability tables, okay, starting off with that one. And also that's how we answer the questions by looking at the probability table.